Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, I've always liked writing stories. Um, as some of you may know, I, I wrote a story called My Ghostly Experience and, and put it on YouTube. And um, I've written another story. It's a short story. Um, it's only about two pages long. Um, but yeah, I think this one's better. It's not finished yet. Um, but it's, I think it's better than my ghostly experience. So if you'd like to get comfortable, grab some snacks, some drinks, sit back and relax. This is called The Man. This happened to me about five years ago now and has always haunted me to this very day. I was driving down this beautiful countryside road, somehow still managing to encompass its magnificence in the cold and dimly lit night. As I was driving, I peered into my right rear view mirror, just out of pure habit. To my surprise, I had caught a slight glimpse of what appeared to be a silhouette of a man on the side of this long, desolate road. I had slowed down a bit to make sure that this man was not hurt or in need of aid. As I reversed, the closer I got to him, the more I'd feel a sense of unsafety and morbidity. I got to where this man was to find that he had vanished into thin air, which was peculiar because I had yet to take my eyes off of him. Gradually feeling more uneasy now, I decided to just carry on and drive forward. Five minutes after seeing this man, curiously, I had reached a dead end leading to an impossibly dense forest. Which should be impossible since no forest has ever been here. Geographically, this road should continue for another hour going at 40 miles per hour. Being the adventure-loving person I was, I decided to park my car and venture into this forest. Little did I know that this would be one of the biggest mistakes that I'd ever made. I had decided to camp for a night, so I packed some stuff, water, food, Swiss army knife, and some other camping supplies. I ventured on for about ten minutes. The strange silence you'd think a dense forest shouldn't have was almost de deafening. I found a clearing and decided to set up camp. I took, I took off exploring the forest. As ever since I could remember, I'd always loved Mother Nature. Taking some water, my Swiss army knife with me, just in case I encountered that man again. It had been 10 to 20 minutes after I had set up camp, and yet somehow this dense and packed forest kept on going. You have to bear in mind that with me, I'm quite a fast walker. Many of my friends have to ask me to slow down half the time. What increased my anxiety and fear at this time is that every now and then in those 10 or 20 minutes is that I would hear a snap of the twig in the, in the distance or leaves rustling. The horrid thing about this is that those were the only sounds inhabited by the forest, other than myself of course. I would subtly peer behind myself every couple of minutes as I had this intense and overwhelming feeling I was being watched by the most judging of eyes. Every now and then, I would glance behind me. I would think I saw a, a quick glimpse of somebody crouching behind a tree or ducking under a bush. At this point, I didn't think the anxious feeling I had bellowing in my stomach could get any worse. So I decided to call it a night and head back to my campsite. The closer I got to the campsite, the quicker the odd snapping of a twig or bush leaves rustling came, and seemingly these sounds were no longer in the distance and only seemed a couple of metres away from me. As I started to jog, I'd got these awful thoughts. Is this it? Is this how I die? I'm going to get murdered in a forest. Or I'll get home but it will follow me, and I'll never be free of this thing. At this point I'd stopped believing that this was a human, because no human could ever stalk another so relentlessly. I had gotten back to the campsite to find that my campsite had almost 
being sort of ransacked. My tent now left on the floor, seemingly being ripped apart. The strange thing is, nothing had been taken at all. All I could see was ripped open cans, with food looking like it had been clawed out on the floor. Bottles of water on the floor and fluff from my pillow was everywhere. This vicious and animalistic attack had unfortunately confirmed my suspicions that this was no human stalking. Now the only thought racing through my head was survival, or what on earth was stalking me. I looked around nervously, expecting to see whatever this thing was. Stupidly, I had decided to confront this very creature stalking me, as I had had enough. So I decided to go back to the forest, taking my Swiss army knife and whatever water was left. About an hour goes by and this horrifying realisation sets in. Whilst I was on a walk, I was being stalked. While something else ransacked my campsite. Realising that there was more than one of these things stalking me, I looked around myself and I realised I was no longer on a set path. I was lost with God knows what, with God knows how many, just waiting to rip me to shreds. And that is where my story abruptly ends. Well, I mean, it doesn't end. Um, it's just not finished. But, um, yeah, that was my story. Uh, it's sort of inspired by the urban legend of the goat men. Um... The story is he's in this forest and uh, this forest should not be here, it shouldn't exist. Um, also, I, I paused because I, I'd lost where I was, I do apologise about that, but um, yeah, he, he's, he's in this forest and, you know, the forest shouldn't exist. He's being stalked whilst he's on the walk and he comes back and, you know, there's multiple of these things and, in, you know, at this point he knows that he's, he, he's, he's doomed. Um, I have no idea where it's going next. Um, but I can't wait to up update you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have a very nice week. Goodbye.